friends and welcome back to another video. Today I am so excited to sit down and share with you some updates, a recap. I have been busy the past couple weeks and I'm thrilled to have had some incredible experiences and most recently I just got home from New York City. I was in New York for the MSC Seascape naming ceremony and we are going to dive into all that this beautiful ship is, everything you want to know about it and we'll dive right into it right now. The MSC Seascape is the flagship for MSC Cruises. This is incredibly exciting and I got to participate and attend the naming ceremony in New York. Now, for those who don't know, a naming ceremony is a very traditional, important event for a ship and the cruise line to have this ceremony blessing the ship, having good fortune, goodwill for all to come who to cruise on her. So it's just a very important maritime tradition. And I'm thrilled to have this preview to show you everything that we got to experience while on board the vessel because Cape Magnifique, beautiful, amazing. Let's dive in. So first things first here, the ceremony itself was very emotional and I had goosebumps multiple times throughout the ceremony. So that first of all was incredible. When we first got on board, we were welcomed by staff. They were just incredibly kind, gracious, and warm. We had some time to explore the ship and get our footing of where our cabin was and have a little bit of fun before the evening's festivities began. So we got to see some of the attractions on board, like Robotron, which was absolutely incredible if you haven't seen this before it is a robotic amusement ride right on the cruise ship absolutely amazing hard to believe that this is on board a ship i got to ride it twice let's give you a little sneak peek of how cool this ride really is headphone warning let's go that good. So if you're interested in riding Robotron, you can hear the music playing. It's $9 for a ride, totally worth it. And the three different levels, I recommend so much fun. But perhaps if virtual reality is more of up your speed, we headed over and did the Formula One racing as well and all of the arcade games and the 3D theater show as well, which was like a, a shooting game with the theater. That was super cool as well. So, so much different attractions. Also headed into the kids club area and got to see some of the kids spaces for the different ages and just all throughout the ship. One of my favorite areas thus far is the jungle pool. This was absolutely gorgeously themed. There's a tiger, just the greenery. It's so lush and so beautiful. Incredibly my vibe. Additionally, we got to do a lot of taste testing. We went to the different type of restaurants for a bit of some light lunches and got to taste the teppanyaki. So some of the delicious food. I'll show you a little bit as well here. Currently in Kaito Tapanyaki, getting ready to taste test some sirloin steak, some grilled pineapple that goes on the ice creams for desserts, and salmon. We'll start with the steak. Mm. So good. 
So this is a specialty restaurant on board where you can come and dine on this brand new chef. Bon appetit! Not only did we get teppanyaki, but we got to head over to some of the other fine dining and specialty restaurants as well. After all of the taste testing, it was time to get ready for the naming ceremony here. And this was a gala night, a festive affair here for this ceremony here. And had to enjoy all of the beautiful atrium with the stairs and enjoying all of the beautiful decor. The ship is actually beautiful. All of the Savorsi crystals from the staircases, make sure you take your photo there and enjoy the beautiful atrium. The ceremony was in the theater and we got to hear from Matteo Bacelli singing and serenading us. I have to show you this absolutely breathtaking. I transported to another dimension listening to his angelic voice, which sounds just like his father's. Have a look. Now, Gene Young is the cruise director on board, and he really packed in so many laughs throughout the ceremony. He actually got some audience members involved in some jokes, so it was just a huge smile across my face, and I was so happy to see all of the crew members, the officers come out and have so much pride for this brand new ship. It was incredible to see. Now, Sophia Loren has been the godmother for so many, actually all of the MSC Cruises fleet here. But as with the pandemic going on, uh, she actually couldn't make it to the ceremony and we saw a video of her coming on and bestowing the torch in a sense for this ship. So she sent it her best wishes. So hopefully she'll be able to come on for other ships in the future. It was emotional for her and to see that video as it was tradition for her to be godmother. There were so many heartwarming videos throughout as we learned how MSC is really looking for cultured travelers, people who want to explore and see so much of the world and bring families together on board their ships. It was incredible to see. We had a lot of fun at the ceremony and then it was time to make it official and crack the champagne bottle on the ship, making it an official part of the MSC fleet. Three, two, one. After the ceremony, it was time for the gala dinner in Butcher's Cut, which is their fine dining, specialty dining steakhouse on board. I had a delicious filet. It was incredible. Now, if you ever dine in Butcher's Cut, I suggest that you try the tomato soup. It has a really unique roasted flavor here with the bread. Oh, it's just scrumptious, absolutely delicious. If you have the mashed potatoes as well, those have a smoky taste. We actually had some of the samplings as well earlier in the day. And so I was excited to get even more of the delicious food in there for the gala dinner. MSC really knows how to have a good time as we had some of the pitcher opp opportunities, not only on the Savor C stair staircase, but in Times Square. We had the blue carpet experience and got to take some of the experiment videos where it was like 360 or 180 videos. So cool. I really enjoyed having some fun with these. Raphael was jumping in one of them, throwing balloons, capturing all the fun. It didn't stop there after we headed to the Neo concert. So Grammy award winning artist. He's a contemporary r and singer in case you are unfamiliar but Neo is an amazing singer and we got to see him right in the atrium performing which was so cool to see 
After all the fun and festivities, we headed back to our cabin because we were allowed to stay on board for this event. And throughout, I actually had a balcony cabin, but I got to see some other cabins as well, like a suite, an Aria suite with a uh, whirlpool. So can you just imagine and see yourself with these views here in New York City, amazing with the skyline in the background, along with as the ship takes you around to see the world, perhaps your duct, and ocean key, and you're hanging out on your whirlpool. Absolutely so cool to see this and experience these types of staterooms on board. So after getting invited to this naming ceremony, I knew I would have such a great time going into it as I've cruised with MSC in the past and absolutely loved the experience. So I had a hinkling that I would have a really good time in New York City, so I went ahead and booked the inaugural cruise on MSC Seascape coming out on Miami in just a couple days. So. I can't wait to share with you even more from on board because of course we tried to see and do as much as possible but there is so many attractions so many things to show you for this cruise vacation here that we had to go and showcase everything so you can stay tuned our first port of call will be embassy private marine reserve ocean key along with some other great ports like nasa puerto rico and the following afterwards so a lot more to come i can't wait to share even more from msc's newest flagship msc seascape be sure to stay tuned and thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the recap and let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about the ship what you want me to see and i will be sure to update you thanks so much for watching and until next time ciao for now see you on the seascape